That's a great parking spot. Designed to convey the stories of the Bible through animated films, kinetic sculptures, and fiber optical representations. So butthurt. Did they close this purple? Yes, I think they the did. Whole, oh, they did? I mean, if you go on their the, website, it says downtown, and it says Woodenville. Did he even have the <laughs> Cast Iron Studios is a. Uh, wow, good red light. Right next to it. Nope, no one in there. Great driving! <laughs> and they're just gonna speed off. Okay. Great driving! I don't actually know whose fault that was, but... I'm guessing the car. between uh, Lita Schumer and Mitch McConnell. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it for them to decide what, what, what the best process forward is. And, uh, going forward, what are you uh, doing, dude? Bill, which Senator Schumer says uh, the Senate <laughs> has to do immediately uh, a budget resolution. Uh, I love Seattle. Those other aspects of Traffic goes that way. <laughs> Flips me off. Hanson just uh, just a few weeks before. I'm so excited to see my siblings and my nephew again. I can hardly contain myself. Third, oh, this is just so much good news. Only a couple of years after we relocated across country for my husband's job, they moved it two hours further away, which meant my husband only got to come home on the weekends for a long time. He had to threaten to take another job, but he convinced his boss to let him work from home a few days a week. I thought I deserved more, yeah. but he's stupid, so he didn't get them. But it's like, you're happy. It's just interesting to hear it when it's not in front of a large shirt. Yeah, body. yeah, that is interesting. That's funny. I like that. Um, all right, you know the happiest story? It has to be one happy story. Right. Okay. Uh, after, this is actually coincidental with the Texas stuff going on right now. But uh, the Satanic Temple, which I need to clarify, does not represent oh, all Satanists. Mm -hmm. But the Satanic Temple, which is the more, uh, we're going to use our religious beliefs for political gain mm -hmm. sort of thing. Kind of the flying spaghetti monsters. Or <laughs> yeah, uh, they're using their status as a religion. Turn your lights on. We keep saying, I, I love the argument that like way back then people didn't know slavery was bad. Like I guarantee you every single person who was enslaved. All right. Slavery was a bad thing, right? They weren't like, oh, well, I guess this is fine. Good job. Around this guy's real interest deep interest in conspiracy, deep interest in Go around in roundabouts. science and, and uh, supernatural, and also what estimated is something like 330,000 yeah. French children French were abused yeah, by, the Catholic Church. by the Catholic Church. Horrible. And it, importantly, I guess... That's a nice bike you got there. Uh, but by and large, and, and the bar will test those exceptions. But by and large, there's no such thing as federal common law because uh, there, and there certainly is no substantive federal common law for things like negligence because federal courts are not courts of general jurisdiction, they're courts of limited jurisdiction. Your 
Supposed to go with traffic. Which way does traffic go? We know, we know. Fix it. Well, if you know, why aren't you doing it? He is barely my assholes. What are you doing? What does that sign say? Right there. It says no parking. Good job. Oh, for God's sake! A few inches later. Oh shit. Here we go again. Would it really hurt you to find a parking spot like 50 feet away? What if there's no parking spot? He's right here. Yo, you did this exact same shit right up there a couple of years in front of Di Fiora. I came into Pagliacci and I talked to your boss, dude. Move the fuck around. There's an entire road. She can park there. This fucking is, idiot. Move. This is Get the, the opposite way of, of traffic. Move. Why don't you guys? Two, why don't you guys? Two ways. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go talk to your fucking boss. Again. Exactly. Cool. I'm not the one breaking traffic laws. You're the one. You're the fucking idiot. 
I'm just calling you out for it. Do you know how many times I've nearly been hit right here? Do you know how many times people have called you out for this same behavior? Go around. Nobody wants to hear how many? you fucking beeping your horn. How many? Me, my partner, two other people who cool. are at Defiora. So I guess Go we don't. I guess we don't idiot. care what signs mean. You're in the wrong. That's why you're so upset. I mean, this is just crazy. When temperatures hit triple digits, those in the business of using ovens, Ray, will you turn the slice oven off? Are definitely feeling it. You gotta open the front door to get those in. Pagliacci's is a pizza mainstay in the greater Seattle area with dozens of locations throughout the region. They're one of the few restaurants that actually have air conditioning, but on this heat wave Sunday, a sign on the front door of the Columbia City location states clearly, sorry, we're closed. He says he closed this particular location when he got word one of the AC units in the building was out and called someone in to fix it. On a day like today, all bets are off. 100%. Well, I'll be leaving. Please continue without me.